Wind turbine blades are made of plastic composite material and they're very difficult to recycle. There's no commercial end-of-life solution available for this large-scale recycling of these materials. Now, the problem at the moment is there's a lot of wind turbines at the end of their life. And we foresee that in 2025 we already have 600,000 tons of composite waste. So there are different ways to recycle these composite materials. One of them is a thermal pyrolysis. And with the pyrolysis, we aim to recover the fibers. We use this facility to simulate a great fire boiler or a great fire pyrolysis installation. What's unique about this facility is that we can control the process conditions very well, such as temperature and residence time, but also the amount of oxygen that's present uh, near the feedstock, in this case, the wind turbine blades. The equipment where we're standing for is an extruder, and this is not a standard extruder because the most extruders in the market begin to crash a lot of fibers and we get really small fibers. Our extruder begin is so designed that we have at the end long fibers. So what you see here begin is a feeder system begin what drops the fibers into a system. We mix that with a standard polymer and at the end we got new materials. We have here carbon fibers and we have glass fibers. We can mix that with a polymer and out of that we make a new material what we can reuse in the market. The automotive market is getting ready for uh, using recycled uh, fibers in thermoplastic composites because legislation is first of all forcing them but also the automotive market themselves understands that they need to contribute to the energy transition and the material transition that's ongoing. So yes, they're getting more and more ready and the technology that Bartlett's Material Center is developing is uh, helping them to do that.